morning jesus good morning lord i know you came from heaven above the holy spirit is on the throne good morning jesus good morning lord good morning jesus good morning lord i know you come and praise the lord in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord good morning jesus good morning lord i know you come from heaven above the holy spirit is on the throne good morning jesus good morning lord good morning good morning jesus good morning lord i know you come from heaven above the holy spirit is on the throne good morning jesus good morning lord in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord in the morning early in the morning in the morning i will rise and praise the lord thank you holy spirit of god thank you jesus for there is none like you abba father in the morning i will rise and praise the lord e kala ba shikata la boz e zekete kete la ba shikata la boz thank you holy spirit of god in the morning i will rise and praise your name good morning jesus for there is no other person to say good morning Oh Abba Father we thank you Jesus we thank you Holy Spirit ezekete kete rakata la bash kata la boz rakata la bash kata la boz Holy Spirit of God you are worthy to be praised Holy Spirit of God you are wonderful thank you Jesus Abba Father for there is no like you sweet Jesus oh zikata la boz kata la boz e koto la bash kata la boz thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Jesus. early in the morning we will always rise and praise the lord thank you jesus today let us open our mouth and thank god for this wonderful day o king of glory for he is worthy to be praised for there is none like you thank you jesus father in the name of jesus we thank you for today holy spirit father we worship you for there is no other god like you father we thank you for bringing us this far We thank you for making us see this beautiful day. Father Jesus, for the constant love that you have for us. We are here thanking you, Father. We are here celebrating you, Jesus. Father, many are in the mortuary. Some went to bed last night couldn't see this beautiful day of today. But for the love that you have for us. Father, we are healthy and strong. We just want to glorify your holy name. We just want to say thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we want to say ah, but Father, there is no other God to be compared to. We want to say you are wonderful you are glory you are powerful thank you jesus for making us see this day thank you father so my in the hospital they can't even speak so my in the hospital they can't even eat but we are running up and down thank you jesus any condition you find yourself always say thank you father he is so grateful he is so nice to us father we are grateful to you thank you jesus in jesus mighty name in the mighty name of jesus kalabash katalabos as Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We worship and glorify your name. We worship and glorify your name. Holy Spirit of God, come and take control over our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's ask God to forgive our sins anyway we are wrong him knowing and unknowingly. It is always good to confess your sins every blessed day, every minute, every second. If you have the opportunity to confess your sins to God, just go ahead and begin to confess your sins. You have done so many things knowing and unknowingly. You don't know what you have done that is wrong in the eyes of the Lord. But always open your mouth and say, God, forgive my sins anyway I have wronged you. Have mercy upon me. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, anyway I have 
sin against you. I begin to ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please forgive me and cleanse me for all unrighteousness. Wash away my sins. Wash away my iniquity. Father, forgive me, oh God. I am a sinner. I have said things that I was not supposed to say. I have done things that I was not supposed to do to be that I've not supposed to be do. Oh God. I ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, please forgive me and cleanse me for all unrighteousness. Wash away my iniquity. Wash away my dirty garment. First John 1 9, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to clean us for all unrighteousness. I begin to pray that may you begin to cleanse us for all unrighteousness anyway we have wronged you. Kalabashi katalabos, ezekete kete rakatalabashi kata, ekutulabadi kalabashi katalabos, katalabari katalabashi katalabos. Father, we ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Holy Spirit, we just open your mouth and worship God for forgiving your sins in the name of Jesus. Now we will pray and ask God to cancel our name in the book of death and write it in the book of life. Open your mouth and pray, tell God to cancel your name in the book of death and write it in the book of life. Oh, as God has forgiven your sins, he will cancel your name in the book of death and write it in the book of life. Kalabashi katalaboza, ezeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeket
Father, cover whatever thing that we put in our mouth to eat, like our children, whatever thing they are eating, oh King of glory, only you can protect them, only you can see what is happening in the world. Father, you go ahead and get to cover it with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We worship you for answering prayers. We thank you, Jesus. Our today topic is talking about waking up with God. You wake up and you start your day with God. Wake up with God. Listen to this before you start your day. When you wake up in the morning, what did you have to say? When you first thing before, you are still on your pillow. Your head is still on your pillow. The first word that has to come up from your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making me see another day. Father, I want you to prepare my day. Prepare my day, O King of Glory. This one, it will help you. Once you wake up in the morning, the first name you mention is Jesus. You ask him to prepare. go ahead and prepare your day. God will go ahead and prepare your day from the demon, from the pit of hell, that they will not see you. Once God prepare your day, this day is going to move perfectly. This day is going to move very smoothly. Start your day with God you will see how wonderful your day will be. As you wake up in the morning, the first thing you tell God, thank you, Father, for this wonderful day. I have seen it. I have made it again today. Jesus, I have made it again today. God has made it possible for you to see this day. It is not easy. Not everybody go to bed last night and wake up and healthy and strong as you are today. So when you wake up, you see the beautiful day. When you wake up, in the morning, the first thing you have to say, thank you, Jesus. I have made it again today. I have seen this day. Father, go ahead and prepare my day. Keep me from the evil of the day. Go ahead and prepare my day. Keep me from the evil of the day. God will go ahead and prepare your day. When you start your day, you just wake up in the morning, you don't even think that the person that makes you to see this day is sitting on the throne watching at you. You have not even offered a word to him. You just wake up and just start your day, start doing, maybe you start listening to your music, maybe you start doing your own, your own kind of things. You don't even know what to even say, even to offer a word to God. It is very wrong. Your day is not going to be perfect as the way you think. But once, once you wake up, you tell God, thank you, Jesus, for making me sing this day. I made it again. You celebrate Jesus. You sing beautiful songs to him. You go ahead and start your day. Your day is going to be very perfect. Your day is going to be very perfect. Once upon a time, there were some people in the boat traveling to one, to one distant land. They woke up that morning as they were going. They did not commit their day to God. They feel like as they are going, they are just going, they, they, are, they, they, are, they, they, will, they are going to where, where they are going. They didn't even tell God, Father, today is another beautiful day. Thank you for the day. They didn't tell God to come. They didn't commit their day to God as they were going. Something happened. The boat capsized and this one one of the person come out from that boat and this person was in a distant land that does not even know where to go he looked this side surrender so this side was so full of water the other side was so full with a piece of water everywhere was filled with water this person does not even know what to do this person does not even know where to start he forgot to start his day with God. He was staying there, nothing to eat. It was so cold. A days passed by. He's looking, hoping that one, one, maybe a boat will come by or somebody will pass by that will wave and so that they can pick him up from that place. Days upon days, days upon days, nothing is happening. So what does this person has to do? He started living and in that island he has to make for fire he has to look how to uh, look for something to eat he was feeding with coconut and fish he was feeding there with coconut and fish but one day he started to realize that the only person that he can, he could ask help from is god 
He has been living in the island for some time, for some day, for some, for some time. No help is coming. The only person that he could ask for help was God. So he has eaten coconut, he has been feeding on fish, coconut, nothing is happening, nothing is going on. So one day, he said, but what am I doing in this island? He has been living there for long. For how long am I going to keep living in this island? He said, hey, there is somebody that I could ask help for. Who is this person? And that is Jesus. He started talking to Jesus. He said, Father, the first thing that came out from his mouth was, Lord, forgive me. Forgive my ignorance. Forgive my sins. Forgive me any way I have wronged you. I was so ignorant. I didn't know what I was doing. Have mercy upon me. Immediately, God answered to his prayer because God was just waiting for him to pray. God answered his prayer immediately. He said, Father, I am tired of living in this island, hoping and waiting for help. Nobody is coming. Only you can help me. Send somebody to help me. Only you can help me. When he said that prayer, he said it with faith and he opened his heart. He offered this prayer to God with faith, with all his heart. Believe me, something happened immediately. Not up to 48 hours, he saw a boat coming by. He started waving on the boat. He was waving on the boat. When this boat was coming by, he was waving on the boat. The boat stopped by and asked, hey, young man, what are you? He asked, what are you doing here? He said, I have been living in this island for a very long time. Nobody to run to, nobody to talk to. But I decided that I should talk to God. Maybe I will, go, I will get help. Immediately, you came. Thank you. That was God answering my prayer. God sent somebody to take me out from this island. Immediately. The man said, where were you going and where were you? He said, no, I want to go back home to my family. Okay, the man asked, where is your destination? He said, okay, my destination is this way. The man said, hop into the boat. He carried this man, vam, straight to this man's uh, uh, family. They asked, they thought, they forgot, they thought, where were you? We thought something happened to you, what happened? He said the story, they started telling them, it is always good to wake up in the morning before you start your day. You have to start your day with God. You have to commit your day with God. You have to tell God that this day I commit in your hand, take total control before you leave you, the house. Now the family know that there is some, they need to talk to God every morning before they leave the house. Now they started praying, they started organizing prayers, they were praying, and things started happening in their family. God has been answering their prayer, things have been so fit, things have been so moving perfectly in their life, things have been really going well upon their life. God has been answering their prayers in the name of Jesus. So what I'm saying is, start your day with God. Every morning you wake up to see the beautiful day. What do you have to say? Offer prayers to him. Tell him how beautiful he is. Tell him how powerful he is for making you see another beautiful day. My brothers and sisters, it is difficult to see another beautiful day. You see this air that we breathe? One minute they take it from you, you are gone. Just one minute, you are gone. But God making you breathing every day every minute every second every one hour god has been with you protecting you you wake up in the morning you started going somewhere without saying thank you father for making me see this beautiful day it is wrong wake up in the morning tell god thank you lord for making me see another beautiful day father i made it today jesus I made it today. We will pray for God to give us the spirit to wake up every morning and tell him, thank you for making me sin this day. We will pray for God to give us the spirit to wake up every morning and tell him, Father, thank you. I have made it again today. You will open your mouth and begin to pray to God in the mighty name of Jesus for to invite God's spirit in your life. Because when God's spirit is in your life, you have the spirit of praying, you have the spirit of doing things, a lot of good things are going, a lot of good things are going to start happening in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So open your mouth and pray.
Kalabashi Katalabos, Ezekete Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that may you give us the spirit to wake up every morning and make sure your name. Father, give us the spirit to wake up every morning and say, Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Father, give us the spirit to pray to you every morning when we wake up. We pray that, Father, I have made it again today. It is possible I seen this another beautiful day. Give us the spirit to talk to you, O King of Glory, every morning we wake up. Because it is not easy to see another beautiful day. Father, we pray that you will give us the spirit to keep praying to you, to keep worshiping you, to keep saying, Father, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for making us see another beautiful day in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for God. Thank you for answering our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. You wake up in the morning, you tell God, thank you, Father, for making me see another beautiful day. It is so good to pray to God all the time in the name of Jesus. He is always there to answer you. He is always there waiting for you. He is always there, to, to, he's always there listening to you. He's always there, <laughs> he's always there waiting for you to offer your prayers to him, and he will answer you. And trust me, your day will be perfect as you think in the name of Jesus. Building your day with God is the best thing that can ever happen to you. Building your day with God is the best thing that can ever happen to you. You build your foundation with God. You wake up, you do your things, always mention his name. Things might be difficult, but God will make it possible for you. Just for you answering, just for you building your day with him. It is very important. When you wake up in the morning, not only wake up in the morning, during the day, whatever thing that you're doing, but building your foundation with God, it is very, very important. It shows that God will always protect you everywhere you go. God will always Send the angels to guide you. Anything that you eat, God will always bless it before you put it in your mouth. But you, but you might not know, but that is what God is doing. Because when you build your foundation with God, everything will go smoothly in your life. You will never face difficulties in the mighty name of Jesus. You will pray that God should give you the spirit to keep praying, to keep mentioning his name any moment, any second, every minute of your time. You just open your mouth and pray that God should give you the spirit to mention his name any moment that you feel as to open your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. So open your mouth and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, O King of Glory, that may you give us the spirit to mention your name any moment, every second, every minute of our time. Anytime we feel us to open our mouth and say something, we pray that may you give us the spirit to call your name. Always say to you, thank you, Jesus. We always say to you, thank you, Holy Spirit. We pray that may you give us the spirit to open our mouth to call your name and any man any Time we mention anything, let your name always come out from our mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. Kalabashi Katalabos, Rakatalabashikata. Father, we pray, O King of Glory, let your spirit come into us. Let your spirit come into us. Wherever we go, let your name should be mentioned. Anything that wants to happen, the first word that will come out from our mouth is Jesus. Father, we pray. Let let your spirit begin to be in manifest in our life. That anything that want to that want to happen to us, anywhere that we want to open our mouth, is Jesus in the name of Jesus. Because when there is no Jesus in our life, nothing can move. If we don't put God first in everything we do, we are going to face difficulties. A lot of things are going to a lot of things are going to go wrong in our lives. But once we mention your name in everything we do, things will move smoothly in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We will continue to mention your name. We will continue to pray. Father, we will, I want us to pray and commit our family into the hands of the Lord because a lot of accident is happening right now. Wherever they are going, where they are, they, those that are traveling in the air, in the land, in the sea, those that are walking around, let us commit them in the hands of the Lord that God should go ahead and protect them. God should protect the, 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 the vehicles that they are, they, they, are, they are about to enter. God should 
protect them. They are going out and they are coming in. We will pray and cancel accident in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, King of Glory, Abba Father, we begin to pray for our family members wherever they are going and all those that are traveling. We pray for them, oh, King of Glory, that may you go ahead and begin to prepare the road for them. We begin to pray and cancel any any accident, any form of accident in their life. We will pray. We pray and begin to destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray and destroy any form of accident in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy any form of accident in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and destroy any accident. A lot of accident is happening right now. Pray that any member of your family will not involve with any accident in the name of Jesus, the month of June, anything that is going on, any demon soccer that is going on in this month of June, pray that they will not see any member of your family in the name of Jesus. Father, begin to go ahead and destroy any, any form of accident in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. This month of June, any wicked demon that is moving around looking for soul to devour, pray, open and pray and tell God that they will not see any member of your family in the name of Jesus. Let God pre protect, may God protect your family, preserve them in from the hands of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you, Abba, Father. We worship you, Jesus, for there is none like you. We thank you for answering our prayers, Holy Spirit of God. Father, give us the spirit to pray more and more. Father, give us the spirit to know you more and more. Father, we want to know you more and more, O King of Glory. We begin to we invite you more and more in our life. We will open our mouth and pray that any chain that the devil has plan in our lives. Any chain that the devil has held of captive, we will pray and destroy any chain. We will break it in the mighty name of Jesus. So open your mouth and pray that and begin to destroy any plan of the, any chain that the enemy has held to captive in the air, in the land, in the sea. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, any chain of the enemy upon my life, any chain of the enemy upon the life of my brothers and sisters, I begin to break it right now in the name of Jesus. I begin to destroy any chain of the enemy upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Anywhere the enemy has held up captive, any plans of the enemy upon our life, any chain that they have chained us in the air, in the land, in the sea. Father, be you begin to send the angels to go in the realm of the spirit and begin to set us free in the name of Jesus. Father, send the angels to go in the spirit realm and set us free in the name of Jesus. Kalabashi katalabos, ezeketele lalabashi katalabos, rakatala baba baba shikata. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We worship you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for destroying the chain of the enemy upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for destroying the chain of the enemy upon our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for setting us free in the name of Jesus. Thank you for setting us free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God for answering prayers in Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we will open our mouth and pray to God that any dark veil that the enemy has worn upon our face, that any dark cloth that the enemy has put upon our face that is chasing people that are coming to bless us, we will pray that God will release fire from heaven and will begin to destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. We will pray that God will release fire from heaven. They will begin to destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh Jesus, Holy Spirit, I take away any dark veil that has been planted upon my life. I say let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to descend and burn it into ashes in the name of Jesus. Any dark veil that the enemy has planned upon my life. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost begin to descend and destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to destroy any dark veil upon my life in the mighty name of Jesus. What God has not planned 
in this body. Father, begin to take it out in the name of Jesus. What the enemy has not, what the enemy has deposited in this body, Father, may you begin to take it out in the mighty name of Jesus. What God has not put in this body, Father, take it out in the name of Jesus. Oh, kalabashi katalaboze, ezeketekete, rakatala bababashi kata, Holy Spirit of God, we Jesus, we worship you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, for there is none like you. In Jesus' mighty name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you for answering our prayers in the name of Jesus. In the beautiful name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for you are so great. There is nothing that God cannot do. What God cannot do does not exist. God has been fighting for us. He has been there. He has always been there. God has always been there for us. What is this thing that you have been asking God for? You have been believing God for? What is this thing that you have been believing God for? It is going to come. It is coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. It is going to be manifesting in your life in the name of Jesus. You have been believing God for open doors. You have been believing God for miracle. Let it begin to happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it begin to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Anything that you have been believing God for. I don't know what you have been believing God for. Only you know what you have been believing God for. Let it begin to manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for each and everyone that is connected to this channel right now, O King of Glory, that whatever thing that they have been asking you, O King of Glory, Father, I pray that may you begin to release it for them in the name of Jesus. Those that are believing you for financial breakthrough, release it for them in the name of Jesus. Those that are believing for destiny helper, send it to them in the name of Jesus. Kalabashi katalaboze, ezeketele kele kele rakata la baba shikata ozoko toko toko to erekete thank you holy spirit of god release your blessing upon the, your children release your blessing upon your children anything that is making us not to receive this blessing from you father have mercy upon us anything that is making us not to receive our breakthrough from you father have mercy upon us and begin to bless us in the mighty name of jesus father begin to bless us in the name of jesus kalaba shikata la bos es Father, we worship you. Father, there is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot do, Holy Spirit of God. We magnify your holy name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. What should I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What should I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What should I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What should I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, worship God, worship God, keep worship God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What should I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. What should I say unto the Lord? All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. All we have to say is to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship you, Father. For there is none like you, Abba, Father. All we have to say is thank you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. You are amazing, Holy Spirit of God. Now we will pray and tell God that we will, now we will pray and tell God that any pit that the devil has dig for us, they will be the one to fall on it in the name of Jesus. 
any pit that the devil has prepared for us, they will be the one to fall on it in the name of Jesus. They will not see us. They will be the one to fall on the pit in the name of Jesus. Now you will open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, my Father, my King, that the any pit that the enemy has prepared for me and my family and each and everyone that is watching this live broadcast, O King of Glory, they will be the one to fall on it in the name of Jesus. Any pit that the enemy has prepared for us, they will be the one to fall on it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Kalabash, shikatalabos. Ezekele kele kalabash. Ezalabash, shikatalabos. Kalabash, erakatala bababa shikatalabos. Kalabali kalabash shikata. Rakatala bababa bababa. Rekete kete zakatalabos. Father, in the name of Jesus, any pit that the enemy have dig for us, O King of Glory. Father, I say, open my mouth and begin to talk to you. Let let be the one to fall on it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be the one to fall on it in the mighty name of Jesus. Any pit of the any pit that the enemy have dig for you. Let it be the one to fall on it in the mighty name of Jesus. Kalabashi katalabos rakatala baba baba rekete. Open your mouth and tell God that any pit that the enemy have dig for you. Let it be the one to fall on it in the name of Jesus. They will not see you in the name of Jesus. And they will not see you in the name of Jesus. Kalabashi. Shikatalabos, rekete kete kete, zakatalababa shikatalabos, ekotola badi karaba. Shilaba, roli kalabi shikatala bos. Thank you, Jesus, for answering prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we will open our mouth and say, any meeting that the enemy have held on on top of your head, any meeting that the enemy have prepared for you and your family. They will, they, God should set confusion in that meeting. They don't, so that they will not know what to do anymore. Any meeting that the enemy have prepared for you and your family, let God set confusion in that meeting in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray and say, any meeting that the enemy has prepared for you, they will, let God set confusion in that meeting. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not see you. Your name will not come out. Your name will not print on their table. Your name will not appear. They will not see you. Open your mouth and pray. So God should protect you. They will not see you in that meeting. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Kalaba shikata erekete kete kete rakata la baba shikata ozoko tokote rikata la ba. My Father, my Father, my Father, my God. Any enemy, any meeting that the enemy me have held upon my life, upon the life of my family. Father, may you begin to set confusion in their midst right now, oh God. Set total destruction upon them. Set total con confusion upon their midst right now in the name of Jesus. O King of glory, any enemy, any meeting that they have held upon our lives, any and any meeting that the enemy have set for us, that they, will, that they want to destroy, or oh, they don't want to see us Prosper, Kalabashi Katalabos, Erekete Keteke, Zakatalaba. Father, may you go ahead and begin to set confusion in their midst. Father, begin to set confusion in their midst. Oh, Father, oh, King of Glory, set confusion in their midst right now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Kalabashi Katalabos, Ezekete Kete, Rakatalaba, Shikatalabos. Father, set confusion in their midst in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, set confusion in their means in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, my King, my God, my Father, any meeting that the enemy has held upon our life, go ahead and begin to destroy and set confusion in their means in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Abba Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for answering our prayers. There is no other God like you. There is no other God like you, Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life Jesus you are the pillar that holds my life mighty Jesus you are the pillar that holds my life 
Jehovah Nisi, you are the pillar down my life. Jesus, you are the pillar down my life. You are the pillar, you are the pillar down my life. Mighty Jesus, you are the pillar down my life. Jehovah Nisi, you are the pillar down my life. You are the pillar down my life. You are the pillar down my life. Mighty Jesus, you are the pillar down my life. Jehovah Nisi, you are the pillar down my life. Open your mouth and worship God. Tell him he is the pillar that holds your life. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. Mighty Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Jehovah Nisi, you are the pillar that holds my life. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. I worship Lord. Worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Worthy, you are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, you are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. I worship you, King of glory. You are the pillar that holds our life. You are so worthy to us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know what you have been believing God for. I don't know the kind of things you have been asking God. I just want you to believe that God is giving it to you in the name of Jesus. God is giving it to you in the name of Jesus. Of Jesus, you have made believing you have been believing God for so many things. You have been asking God to bless you for so many things. I don't know whatever thing that you have been asking God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, God will give it to you. Tell God that Father, this thing that I have been believing you for, I want to receive it in the name of Jesus. Connect with faith, have faith, connect with faith. Believe that God will give it to you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Kalabash, Holy spirit of God. Abba Father we call upon you right now. We pray O King of Glory. I don't know what your children have been believing you for. Father I pray that may you give them give it to them in the name of Jesus. Release their blessing for them in the name of Jesus. Release their destiny O King of Glory. I don't know whatever thing that they want from you. I don't know whatever thing that they believe you they are believing you for. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, whoever that is listening to this message right now, may you begin to release their blessing upon them, O King of Glory. Any blessing that have been stolen from them from January to June, Father, I pray that may you release May you release it to them in the name of Jesus. Kalabashi katalaboze. Ezeke teke teke te. Rakatalabashi katalaboze. Rabeba. Ekotolabashi kata. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. Release that blessing for them in the name of Jesus. Father, release it for them in the name of Jesus. I don't know what they have been believing you for. I don't know what is going on in their mind. Father, release it for them in the name of Jesus. Release this blessing for them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, so many of them are going through pain right now. I don't know the pain that they are going through in their life. I don't know what is eating you up somewhere. Some people are sitting there. I don't know what is going on. Father, I pray that may you release your peace upon them, O King of Glory. Those that are going through pain, Father, release your peace upon them, O Father. Father, give them peace of mind and bless them whatever thing that they want in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray for peace upon your life in the name of Jesus. Kalabashi. 
katala boz ezeke teke teke te rakata la baba shikata la boz ekutu la ba shikata father i pray o king of glory for those that are going through pain right now may you be there Peace, O King of Glory. May you be their peace, O King of Glory. Those that have worries in their heart, Daddy, take it away in the name of Jesus. Take it away in the name of Jesus. Bless them, O King of Glory. Give them peace in the name of Jesus. Release your peace upon their life in the name of Jesus. Release your peace upon their life, O King of Glory. Those that their heart are so heavy, Father, they don't know where to run to to find for solution. Father, be their solution in the name of Jesus. Receive the, their solution in the name of Jesus. Receive your peace in the the name of Jesus. The Father, release your peace upon their life. Father, so many of us are going through hardship. So many of us are going through pain right now. We don't know where to go to. We don't know where to run to. The only place we can run to is to run to you, Jesus. We pray that may you release your peace upon our life. Release your peace upon our life. That they give us a solution for our problems in the mighty name of Jesus. Take your problems to Jesus. Take your problem to Jesus. He is the solution to your problem. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the hard time that you're facing right now. But the only person that can answer your problem right now is Jesus Christ. The only person that can answer your problem right now is Jesus Christ. Take your problems to him in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, oh, in the name of Jesus. Father, may you be our peace in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for answering our prayers. Thank you, Abba, Father, for there is none like you, O oh, Jesus. We pray for peace in the name of Jesus. We pray for peace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is nothing that God cannot do. There is nothing that God cannot do. You that run to God present, may you receive your peace in the name of Jesus. There is something that run, make us run into God present, my healer. For you that you are sick, I don't know what the kind of sickness that you're facing right now. May God be your healer in the name of Jesus. May God be your healer in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing that you're facing right now, God is the solution. God, seek first the kingdom of God and everything will be added to you. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added to you. I don't know what you're seeking for. I don't know what you have been believing God for. I don't know what you want God to do for you. But he says, seek first the kingdom of God and everything will be added unto you. And he's always there to answer us. He's always there to listen to our prayers. God is always go there to answer our prayers. You might be going through pain, you might be going through hard time, you might be going through hardship. Things are so difficult, you don't know where to run to. Run to God. He is a solution for every problem. What God cannot do does not exist. With God, everything is possible. Carry your problems to Him. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. Take your problems to Jesus. He will answer you in the name of Jesus. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the head and the tail. He is there. He's waiting for you to call on him so that he will answer you in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for being part of this live stream. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to show his peace. He, may he continue cause his face to shine on you. My name is Awanga Adeline and if this is your first time seeing me, please don't forget to give this live stream a thumbs up, turn on your notification bell and hit on the subscribe button. So whenever, whatever I'm live, you'll be the first one to know and whatever I upload new content, you will be the one, you'll be the first to see. God will bless you. God will provide for you. God will answer all your problems. He wants you to talk to him. He says, seek first his kingdom. Will you seek God's face? You ask him anything. He is right there waiting. And he is ready to release his blessing upon you. If you seek blessing or seek anything somewhere else, it is, it is going to come easy. But it will not last. 
You know, the devil will give you from the right, the, the, the right hand and collect it back from the left hand. But when God gives you, it, was, it will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Always seek what you want from God. Because he's insisting in his book, in the Bible, that's Matthew 6, verse 33. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. If you have your Bible, you open Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. He said, seek first the kingdom of God and everything shall be added unto you. Anything that you want, where you seek God's kingdom first and where you're seeking his kingdom, your heart should be pure. Your heart should be open. Your faith should be connected with him so that whatever thing that you ask him, you are going to receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. You're asking for breakthrough. Breakthrough is going to come for you in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing that you're asking, you're waiting for his miracle, his miracle, they will manifest in your life. But when you're seeking his kingdom, you need to be connected. You need to connect to him. Don't seek God's kingdom while your heart is somewhere else. You're just like, Father, I need this thing. I'm just let me just pray to God for this thing and, and, and see if God will give me. And then your mind is not connected to God. It is going to be very difficult for you. For, for you to, to, to receive this thing. But when you you're asking God for something, you need to connect to him spiritually that you raise your, your your mind need to be free where you have something that is disturbing you inside where you want to ask something from god you need to clean your mind you need to clean your mind and if someone has wronged you and you're so angry with this person you want to ask for a favor from god you want to ask god for something first thing you need to do you have to set your mind I, ask this person uh, and and forgive person open your heart let your heart to be clean let your heart to be clear forgive this person and you ask god for whatever thing that you want god is going to give it to you when your heart is pure and it is open and you are connected to him you are going to receive it in the name of jesus god is going to give it to you in the mighty name of jesus don't go ahead asking God for things that you are you're carrying somebody in your heart. Maybe somebody did something to you very, 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 very bad. Something that each time you think about it, you feel like you want to catch this person and strangle this person. Something that each time you think about this person or each time this person passes by, your heart start making like, your heart is beating like, I want to run behind this person and just finish with this person. What do you have to do? You have to free your mind. You have to let go. You have to forgive. Forgiveness is very important. I want us to talk about forgiveness. Forgiveness is very important. It is always good to forgive people. You know, sometimes we are so hurt in the way that I, I cannot forgive this person. This person hurt me so badly. My heart is so heavy. Mm -mm. If you if you're keeping somebody inside you, you are carrying something very heavy. Your heart is not free. You're always disturbed. But each time you think you are, but what is really disturbing me inside? Because you carry somebody inside your mind. You carry something in your heart that is so heavy. That is, you have not forgiven this person. Maybe this person came back later and said, oh, my friend, I know I wronged you. I know what I did. It was so bad. It was so horrible. It was so terrible. Please forgive me. I know it hurts. Please forgive me. And on the other hand, you tell this person, okay, okay, I forgive you. But in your mind, you, you try to forgive, but you don't forget this thing. But each time you come across this person, you're like, but this thing this person did to me, eh? I cannot forget it too. I am so hurt. You keep that person inside and you keep praying to God every day. Father, Lord Jesus, I need this thing. Father, bless me with this thing, Jesus. Father, Lord, today I want to go for this interview. Let them, let, 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 let. Father, let your blessing be upon my head so that these people, we, 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 these people will give me this job. Father, let, how can you be praying such prayer while you are carrying somebody inside? You cannot forget this thing that this person did to you. And this person asks for forgiveness. You have not forgive this person. You still carry this person in your heart. You're offering those kind of prayer. You're praying for God. And you're praying a very strong prayer. Where do you think this prayer is going to? This prayer ends at the ceiling. It doesn't reach God. Because why? 
you're carrying somebody inside, please, it is good to forgive. Learn to forgive people that hurt you. Learn to forgive people that hurt you, no matter how hurt you are. Forgive them and forget about them. Move on with your life. Trust me, whatever thing that you pray and ask God for, you will receive it hundredfold in the name of Jesus. If you're asking God for a job, God is going to provide you a clean job that you are going to be happy and with a well-paid salary. If you're asking God for a child, God is going to give you children. If you're asking God for a husband, God is going to send men that you're going to choose the one that you are going to be happy with. God is going to give you that person that will take very good care of you. If you're asking God for a miracle, he's going to release this miracle upon your life. If you're asking God for financial breakthrough, you are going to receive money. God is going to receive money in your life. God is going to receive Send that you're going to receive destiny, but you're going to be receiving phone calls. People are going to people are going to send you money. That is God working. That is God working. God is going to give you anything that you want, anything that you're asking, anything that you want. You are going to receive it in the name of Jesus. Matthew seven verse seven says, "Knock, the door shall be opened. Seek, you shall find." Anything. You want everything is in the Bible. You just need to ask God. Just ask God, Father, I need this thing. And trust me, whatever thing that you're asking, God, learn to connect. Connect your spirit. Connect with God. Con open your heart. Connect with Him. Whatever thing that you're asking Him, you are going to start. You will receive them in the name of Jesus. You will receive whatever thing that you're asking or once you connect with him and you're asking him. Faith is the key. I take it again. I say faith is the key. Do you have faith in this thing that you're asking God to bless you? Do you have faith that it will manifest in your life? That is a problem. You might be praying. You're asking God for so many things, but you don't have faith. It will delay. But once you connect your faith with God and you're asking for something, you're going to receive it as fast as possible because your faith is connected to the throne. Your faith is connected to the throne of God and God is listening. You see your heart, your heart is so pure and you're asking this thing with faith and you're so connected to him. You're going to receive it in the name of Jesus. You are going to receive it in the name of Jesus. We pray that whatever thing that you're asking God, may you will learn to connect your faith with him so that you will receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you, O King of Glory. Father, whatever thing that we are asking you with faith, that it let it manifest in our life in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to connect our faith with you, O King of Glory, that whatever thing that we are asking you, let it manifest in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. My God, my King, whoever that is asking for blessing from you, O God, that they are connecting to you, O God, that they release it to them in the name of Jesus. Father, you say we should bring what? We should we bring forth we should bring what we have. You will bless it for us. You will, you are going to bless us with our handwork, oh God. Whatever thing that we touch, it shall be blessed in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. We know, O King of Glory, you are going to answer our prayer and you keep answering our prayers and our prayers are going to manifest in our lives in the name of Jesus. Whoever that is watching this video, you're going to testify what God is going to do in your life. All is that you have to connect your faith with, your faith with God and everything will come to pass in the name of Jesus. When you are praying, connect your faith with God and you will receive God's blessing upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. God is listening to you. He's seeing you. He's seeing what you're going through. He's answering all your prayers. Trust me, when his times come, nobody will stop it. When God's time comes, Nobody will stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. May God continue to listen to your prayers so that you will be the first to testify. You will be the first to testify in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. You're always there. There is no other God to be compared to you. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Oh, Jesus, we will continue to hook up to you. We continue to hang up to you and wait for your moment in our life. Always remember that God time is the best. In everything that you do, put him first. Put God first in everything you do and all things will be added unto you. His glory will be added unto you. 
anything you want, it will be added, added unto you. But put him first. And always remember to start your day with God. That is our topic of today. Remember to start your day with God. Wake up with God by your side. Before, the, as before you, you're rolling on your pillow, the first thing you wake up in the morning out from your mouth is, Father, thank you for today. Thank you, Lord. You have made me to see another day. I made it again today in the name of Jesus. You declare your day with God. Trust me, your day is going to be perfect. No matter what the people would say to you, no matter what people would do to you, once you have declared your day with God, everything is going to be perfect in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I'm going to pray for you under grace. Before I go off, I'm going to pray for you that anything that you seek God for, for God is going to give it to you in Jesus' name. Father, my God, my King, Abba, Father, I thank you for the life of each and everyone that is connected to this light broadcast. I thank you for their family members. I thank you for our life, O King of Glory. We thank you, Holy Spirit of God, because you are the God that says yes, no one can say no. You are the God that no one can be compared to. We thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for our life. Father, we pray that let this day be a blessing upon our life in the name of Jesus. Father, may you bless this day in our lives in the name of Jesus. That let each and everyone receive blessings from you today in the name of Jesus. Father, those that don't have food to eat, provide for them in the name of Jesus. Those that don't have water to drink, that it provide for them in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick in the hospital, Father, provide their medication and bless it so that they can take it and be healed so that your name will be glorified in the name of Jesus. Father, those that are struggling in life, that it be their strength, that it be there for them in the name of Jesus. That it, those that are going through pain, that it be their pain healer in the name of Jesus. Those that are struggling with heartbreak, that he give them peace in the name of Jesus. That he give them peace in the name of Jesus. Whatever thing that they seek for you, give it to them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching this live. May God bless you. May he cause his face to shine on you. May he give you peace, give you your heart desire, give you whatever thing that you need. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you stay blessed today. Have a wonderful day. Have a blessed day. May God continue to bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. I will see you same time tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name.